got got my good friend Kevin McIntosh. He's got a bad case of the gout going. He's had it for a few days. And it, which leg is it, Kevin? It's in my left foot. Left foot, and usually the most common place for gout is usually where? It's usually in your toes or your fingers. This is actually a little bit more back in my foot. Yeah, he's. And I've been dealing with gout off and on for um, four or five years. It's been and, a while. And and you would explain it. How would you explain gout? What does it feel like for people that don't know that has gout? I, there's almost no way to explain it. I've I've had major surgeries and stuff that don't hurt like gout has. It's a pain that's in a whole class to itself. And it's one of those things that you can't really see. You know, yeah, it's a little red and it's a little puffy and that's all anybody can see if they look at it. It doesn't look like it should hurt that bad, but it does. And the uh, only thing I can say is if you, if you, when you're forcing old rusty hinge to bend back and forth and it's real stiff, that's kind of what it feels like in your foot. Your foot is the hinge. And it's just, it's real for your fingers. My mother-in-law gets it. She gets it in her fingers. Yeah. And she has a real hard time with it because the joint won't bend. It's got so right. much stuff in there, you just can't bend it. You told me the other day, I thought it was pretty interesting. You said it was like if you took glass and yeah. kind of ground it. How did you, what did you say? Fine ground glass. And yeah. Was, you know, you've got fluid in your joints all the time anyway. Well, if you were to take glass and just grind it down to a powder, like, like talcum powder, and put that glass in your joint and replace that fluid with it, that's what it would be, and it'll just hold it. Um, it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't bend. It's right. It's painful, and that glass just grinds on, on everything in there. And you know, uh, the stereotyping of use of gout, you always heard is associated with people that drinks a lot of alcohol. So kind of explain that, because... I don't drink hardly at all. I yeah. may have two or three drinks a year, period. Right. And there's all kinds of theories now. They associate it with red meats or too much dark leafy greens or too much. It, it, I, they can't really get it straight as right. to what the diet would or wouldn't be that's going to trigger it. What about hereditary? They'd probably rule that out. Nobody in my family has it. The only person I know that I'm, I'm kin to at all that has it is my mother in law. Lord, I hope I'm not blessed. <laughs> So, no, that's, that's it. Nobody in my family has anything like gout. That'll go or not. All right, so Kevin, too, he has another problem. About what, what kind of medicines do they usually recommend for people to, when they have gout that you know of? There's several. There's um, allopurinol, which is one you, you, you just take that every day, and that can help keep you from getting a gout. Um, and then you can take colchicine, and some people take it every day. I use colchicine myself, but I only take it when I know that I'm having a flare up. Usually you start to feel a little pain. It might feel like um, you're starting to get a cramp in your toe. And, uh, and you'll feel that little twinge. And if I right then go take a, a, a loading dose of colchicine, which is you take two tablets and an hour later you take another tablet, um, that I usually get ahead of it with what I'm going through right now. My son and I were wrestling around, messing around, and I missed it. I thought I just got a cramp in my foot, and then the next morning I woke up and it was. And in you know, bed. right yeah. what, right what? Yeah, as soon as I got went to get out of bed, I knew exactly what it was. So, what about steroids in your case? Because steroids is a they good healer of everything. They can inject steroids directly into there. They'll put a little bit of uh, pain medicine, a little bit of steroid right into that joint. I've had that done several times. But as you get older and you start to have other issues, there's there's contraindications to that. Like if you have macular degeneration or any type of retina problem, steroids are hard on your eyes. They create more pressure. And that's your so problem that's right, right now, right? So right now, I don't do steroids anymore because I'm getting to that age where I'm starting to have the, the eye problems yeah. and such as that. Because steroids helped you. I mean, it helps, yes, right? Yes, steroids do help a lot. Oh, yeah. um, and it's almost instant. You can do the steroid shots and you'll be better by the next day. You know, yeah. So how long? How long do you? Does it usually take for you to get over this? Because you're just kind of what you're not taking anything. You're just kind of going. Well, I'm taking the colchicine. So you you've been taking I am it. Taking colchicine. So I, I did. I went ahead and did the loading dose, and then I've just been on the colchicine, and I'm taking ibuprofen to help. 
the ibuprofen helps with some of the inflammation yeah. and the pain and the swelling. Um, uh, we were talking about Tordol is another drug that they use, and you can you can use Tordol and that will yeah. help a lot. So you think the worst is behind you? Like what percentage? Yeah, like right now, like uh, what was it? Wednesday was the last day I was here at work. Yeah. And that was a hard day. And yeah. I was really limping really bad. And that was the worst day. And then, and yeah, and then yesterday I just stayed home, stayed yeah. off my foot all day, and then came back to work today. But today I can actually stand on it and I can walk. Yeah. So you want to limp a little bit. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, give me a walk across through there. I mean, this is foot, for real. That, that that's what he's doing right there, well, folks. So you just don't, it hurts to bend it. Yeah, so that's, that's what, it, plain and simple. Like you said, the old rusty hinge just won't go. Yeah. All right, he's come up with a good, he showed me this the other day. I thought this was neat, folks. Uh, a good way to, he's, he, he tries to explain it, this gal. He does a good job, and he's going to give us an example of it. And I thought it was pretty good. So what do you got here, Kevin? What is this? These are heating pads, and y'all may have seen these. They, they sell them in the mall. It's just a little clear liquid pads, and they got this metal disc in there. And when you snap that disc, this liquid, which is like water, it's just running. You see that little air bubble in there? It just runs like water. It's real thin. But if you snap this little disc, it will start to solidify and harden. Yeah. And that's basically what's happening in your joints because you've got that fluid in your joint. Uh -huh. And then that fluid, something, it, that acid pools up in there. Yeah. And once that acid pools up in there, it starts to cool down. It gets, it'll release all its heat. And then it, it swells up, gets really hot, really painful. Right. And that, that acid just sits and solidifies. Yeah, so I we'll thought... We'll see if this one will do it. These so, are, these are These are ones I've not used before. But they sell these in the mall, or they used to sell them in so the mall. So this is like what he felt like what the gout does. There we go. See, See that look little, at that, just how that, that little does, snap. Folks. And now that's starting to get hard. See how it goes around? Seeing it's starting to spread out. and So... So that as that acid in your joints cools, it gets hard. And see, that went from being water liquid to where that feels almost firm now. Right. And as it cools down, it'll get hard like a hard clay. Yeah, sort of like um, this one. This one is, is kind of in the mid middle of it. This is an older one I had. This is for your back, a great big one. Yeah. And it's... it's and I don't have one that's actually been sprung. I wish I did. Had one that had had time to cool. But all folks, that down. this is what people that has gout would say. Yeah, that's for sure. That's what, exactly what it feels like when it all really, you know, it, it kind of spreads out. And he, he's trying to walk with this. And you imagine that being like glass, like he said, fine glass. And that's a good example. And it hurts. And it like yeah. burns, right? It's, it's sharp. It's really sharp pain. I mean, it's sharp, sharp pain. And that could be in... I, mean, I broke bones and it didn't feel like mm. that. You know, and that's in his weird. joints around his toes. What about, is it ankles too? Or is it you most... You get it in your ankles. I've had it in my toes. I've had it in my foot, which is where I have it right now, in the ball of my foot. And then I've had it um, back in my ankles. And mm. when it's in your ankles, it'll affect your Achilles tendon Ooh. and everything else. And that's really bad. So yeah, I thought, so, man, that is awesome. That, that is a good example. He showed me that. Just, you know... And that's just what it is. It's just like that. And it, yeah, just kind and of spread around in his and joints. And it's like, it's hot like that. It gets hot like that when it first starts to go, and that heat will stay with you for yeah. hours. And then once that heat starts to cool off, you just got a lot of swelling and pain. Right. And that heat is painful in your joints. Well, man, anything else? No, that's about all I can I think you, think you've done a good job. I want to do this video and also get my good, how do you, how do you like that beard, folks? He's going to get that shaved out. I Good friend of mine, he, he loves the Lord with all his heart, and, Amen. and we love Amen. him too. So thank y'all for watching my videos, and, and as always, thank y'all, and God bless. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah, is that, here's that big one that he, he bust, folks. That was It looked like it wouldn't have worked, but it, it did. It's warm. Woo! Yeah, that Can you imagine that on his back? That, one, that one's real hot. Yeah, that is amazing. That is cool. All right, sweet beer. Yeah, these are great heating pads. They last a good long time. <laughs> they do. That'll stay warm like that for a couple hours. And yeah. It feels really good. Get that on your back. Yeah. Well, that one you bust the other day, I kept it. And I'm like, man, that is, whoo, that feels good. But that's just a good way to explain it right there. I like it. I thought it was cool. All right. See you later, folks. God bless. What's it like? What's it feel like?
I just feel like I can go to sleep. I hate that I have to continue working. Kevin, he's a hit, bringing his heating pads in. Who's this sponsored by? What's the name on that? Body Comfort. Body Comfort. Body Comfort. Sponsored by Body Comfort. It's nurse approved. Nurse approved. Nurse approved. Body Comfort. Man, where have we been? What's that little thing in there? <laughs> it's nurse approved. Man, that's, yeah. that's my best description of gout. That's exactly what it is. Liquid cools into your joints and as it cools in there, and then it releases all this energy that's really hot and then solidifies.